I will say that I believe that an exit strategy is absolutely necessary for Afghanistan. Now, an exit strategy is something that requires some sort of planning. And with the exit strategy, either we figure out how we're going to quote unquote win, whatever that means, you know, come out with some desirable outcome over there, or we need to figure out that there is no outcome that's going to be to our benefit there. The only outcome we're going to have is more money and lives, you know, burned <laughs> over in Afghanistan trying to fight an irresistible tide, all right? Um, so there has to be some strategy, but what I don't want to see happen is this sort of simple-minded poker analogy that you have to be all in or all out. You know, uh, unfortunately, when you're all in or all out, when you're all in, if you lose, you lose everything, all right? I don't think that Afghanistan will ever be worth that much because it is not in our self-defense, okay? This is some political action that we're doing for the, under the presumed benefit of the Afghani people, okay? This is not something we should put everything in on, in my opinion, simply because we can't afford to lose everything, all right? Period. I think that's just a ridiculous notion, I, I, and I don't agree with it at all. The question is, the question is, what's necessary for us to have a desirable outcome over there, and is it something we think is worthwhile, okay? Um, and those are not questions that are answered quickly or easily. And I would prefer to see time spent deliberating what to do in Afghanistan than rushing into some solution prematurely before we've had a chance to go through all the ideas and all the alternatives, all right? So there is some urgency because, of course, lives are at stake. But these people are in there. They know their lives are at risk, okay? And if we increase the conflict, there's only going to be more casualties, okay? So I can understand the concern over casualties. These people are over there knowing full well what the risk is, all right? And I don't want to see any more die than has to be. But unfortunately, planning takes time. Planning takes time. And it's not all Obama doing the planning. It's, it's people who work for Obama. Obama has to multitask. He has to do more than one thing at a time. And he has to delegate people who are going to look at those plans. Okay? So if you want Obama to just be simple-minded over this one issue, I think that would be a huge mistake. The President of the United States has to multitask. He has to do more than one thing at a time. Absolutely. And, and expecting him to do otherwise is ridiculous. All right. So in summary, I don't like what's happening in Afghanistan any more than you do. But I think rushing to a premature decision would be a huge mistake, all right? And I think we need to figure out whether or not we're, we're going to be able to come up with the resources to produce a desirable outcome, or we get the hell out of there, all right? But none of this all in, all out. No way do I want all in, because this is not a fight for our survival. Contrary to what you may believe, this is not a fight for our survival, all right? This is a conflict of choice in the name of helping the Afghani people, whatever that means, okay? So, <laughs> so all in is not an option as far as I'm concerned, all right? Absolutely not. So that's all I'm going to say for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye.